Hello. In this session, we're going to focus on accessing the inner, inner part of your hip and into your lower back. There are soft tissue fibers that connect those two places, and we're going to activate them through this gentle series. Come on to your hands and knees here, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. If your wrists have a hard time on the floor, you can elevate them by putting a towel under your wrist folded up so your fingers are lower than your palms. Take a deep breath in. Your knees can be a little bit wider than your hips to be fine to help you there. As you act, so bring your chin to your chest, tail to your face, round your spine, pushing the back of your body up towards the sky behind you. As you inhale, you do the opposite. You bring the front of your body towards the floor in front of you, tailbone towards the sky, heart lifts forward and up. Again, exhale, bring your chin to your chest, tail to your face, push the back of your body towards the sky behind you, rounding deeply. Inhale, tail up, ribs go forward to the floor, heart goes forward and up, extend, arch. Great. Exhale, or just breathe. It's fine to just keep breathing as long as you are breathing. I'm just saying exhale specifically to help you remind you to breathe and keep the air moving, rounding. Inhale, extend, open, up, and arch. Great job there. Exhale, breathe, curl, round your backbone deeply. Great job there. Uh -huh. Inhale, extend, lift your heart up, and arch. If you widen your knees here, bring them closer together a little bit and reach one leg long behind you, curl all those toes under. Then you're going to push that hip back and heel back and round your spine. Try and bring that long leg hip parallel to the floor, then shift forward and arch. You have two more there. Push the long leg heel back, bring that long leg hip lower to the floor than you think you should, just because people tend to lift it way high. Come forward and arch. One more time. Again, push the heel back, hip square, round your spine, curl. Great job. Come forward and arch, and then switch your legs, other leg long. Same thing here. As the heel goes back and round your spine, that long leg hip is going to want to rotate. Bring it lower to the floor to help you keep square with your hips. Come forward and arch. You just try not to twist so much here. Push the heel back and round your spine, curl. Bring that long leg hip lower to the floor generally. Mm -hmm. Come forward and arch one more time. Again, push the heel back, chin to chest, tail to face, hip square, round your spine. Really good job. Come forward and arch, and then bring two knees down. Excellent work. This next part, I'm going to use a yoga block to be kneeling. It could be anything soft, pillow, cushion, whatever works. If kneeling is not your bag, you can do it standing as well with your front knee bent and back leg long. This back foot, try to make sure it's in line with the yoga block so that back foot's not off to the one side or the other. It's behind the block specifically. And this front leg is in front of the hip directly, right? So it's not in front of the block, it's in front of the hip. Gonna lift the same side arm up as knee that's down or leg that's back. The opposite arm of the front leg. Easy breathe. All you're gonna do here, you're going to bend the front knee, hips go forward gently, easy. Then hips go back, take your time. Again, just gently forward, four. Now increasing the stretch on this thigh and hip that we just did on our hands and knees with the leg long, three. Just getting it ready to do a little more. Easy, gentle, breathe deeply, two. Really great job. And back, again, gentle forward, great job. And back. Now, as we go forward, you're going to twist your chest towards that front knee. So the top arm is twisting towards the front leg. In return, the opposite arm that's up is twisting towards that front leg. Four. The hips are going to twist here. So the hip also twists towards that thigh bone. Three. Really great job. Make sure this front knee doesn't go out to the side too much, but some is okay. Breathe deeply, too. Uh-huh. One more time. Again, easy. Forward, twist, rotate. Bring it back. Now the hips go nowhere. You're going to side stretch up and over. Easy breathe. That's right. And then return. Take your time. It's a lot of balance. You're welcome. Again, you can use a bar, a wall, or a piece of furniture here to balance. If it's too intense for you, four, no big deal. Return. Again, exhale. Up, over. Stretch, lengthen. Three. Nice, everyone. And then return. Just two more there. Again, breathe, stretch, up, over, and reach, two. Action jump, one more time. Again, the arm just stays up the whole time, along by your ear as far as you have comfort. Hip can go out to the side a little bit as well. And then return, and then we're gonna switch sides. Really great job. So the other knee goes on the block, 
other foot forward. Again, that back foot's not off to one side or the other behind you. It's trying to be behind the block directly. Other hip, knee is in front of the same side hip. The same side arm as knee that is down or the leg is back if your knee is not down is up. It's the opposite arm of the front leg. You just bend the front knee to travel forward. Your chest just goes forward and then return. The goal here is to get the hips to go forward four and the hips to go back. So try not to lean forward there. It's the hips that propel forward by bending the front knee three and then back again, gliding forward, breathe deeply and back two. one more time again, gliding forward. Great job. Now you're going to add on to that. As you glide forward, you're going to twist the arm that's up towards the front knee, rotate again, try and twist those hips and untwist. The hip rotates towards the thigh, the chest rotates as well, four. And yeah, it's a bit of balance. And yes, you're welcome. Again, easy, rotate, spiral, three. Good, everyone. Untwist to return. Go forward, rotate, breathe deeply, two. Uh-huh, and return, one more time. Easy, forward, rotate, return, stay. Now the hips don't go forward. You go up and over to the side. You can have your, a free hand on the wall, piece of furniture, something that works for you, for, that's stable, that you can trust, bring it back. So maybe not all your loved ones, just pick one of them, again, that you trust. Stretch, up and over four, great job, and then return. Again, eyes and chest up, you look forward across the horizon, three, try not to rotate here, face forward, we're side bending. Side bending, you face forward. Forward meaning where your chest looks, where your eyes look too. Chest and eyes look to the same place. One more time. Again, easy. Stretch up and over. Really great job there. And now we're going to stand tall. I'm going to adjust the camera because it's just me here. Now, this next thing we're going to perform is a single leg squat. I recommend you do it with a countertop, right? Something high that is good for you. It could be a little lower. This is just what I have here. Now, we've gone over squats before. A quick review. You bend your both, thing on both legs, you bend your knees, hips go back, you lean forward, and then you return. We're just gonna do a one-legged version of that, so having something to support you when you start is great. You just bend your standing leg. The other leg now is going to really reach behind you long, and then return. Again, bend, the leg goes long and low. Breathe deeply, four. Use your balance, there. use your arms, something solid to help you. Easy, gentle. Three, once you get adjusted, you can use a less and less arm support. Easy, reach and breathe. Two, mm -hmm. one more time. You can also hinge your body further forward. Easy, taking it more to a deadlift feeling. Easy, but if you don't know what those words mean, don't worry about it. We're gonna do five more. I'm gonna step away from the bar. Easy, I wanna lean forward more, gentle. Five, take care of time. And you're gonna really feel this activates the standing leg. So you might think we're focusing on the legs in the air, and there, there is work there, three, but it's not the specific realm of focus, breathe. When you bend, try and keep your hip bones parallel to the floor. The hip is gonna wanna twist like we did earlier on our hands and knees. It's the same thing here, try and keep both hips square to the floor. I think we have what, three more? Easy, bending, three. Really great job, take your time. Again, easy, bending, stretching, hip square, two, one more time. Again, easy, only bend as far as you have comfort. Breathe deeply, mm -hmm. return, I'm gonna do the other leg. And again, I'm gonna use the cabinets or whatever you got, something solid is in front of you. The knee bends forward, hip goes back, and then return up tall. And same thing again, it's not very big to start, just get used to the squatting, four. Take your time, you can use your hands the whole time, or as you go along, you can let go when you feel good, you use one arm or both. You can let go a bit and then use it only when you feel you need some support. Two, you can also take the bend deeper and lean your body forward more if you like. You don't have to. I'm going to step away. Easy. You don't have to. You can stay right where you are. Bend your standing leg. Keep that hip square to the floor. Let me show it to you to the front. You bend your standing leg. Hips are square. I try to do a trancy fan. Fancy transition there. A trancy transition, a fancy transition. Hips stay square. So this leg that's going back, that hip wants to open up. Try not to. Try and bend this standing leg and keep the hip square. Easy, you got three more to go. Again, bend, easy, control. Three, really good everyone, take your time. Again, easy, gentle. 
bend, hip square, two. One more time, you're gonna really feel that standing leg somewhere, hopefully. If not, it doesn't mean it's not working, it just means you can't feel it working, and that's okay, two feet down. Now, we're gonna repeat the other leg, and I'm gonna take my arms out to an airplane-like thing. So, I'm gonna bend. You can do the squat first to get used to that. You can have things next to you, so you can have poles in your arms here that tether into the floor, ski poles, to help you gain your balance. Four, take your time, easy. Again, bending, reaching long. Three, make sure that hip is square to the ground in front of you. Again, easy, breathe. Two, you can tap the floor with that back, whatever you need to. Or you can use some, a solid surface as well. Easy. Uh -huh. The next five, the arms can stay or they can go up by your ears. Take your time. Reach. Five, hips nice and square. Take your time. Again, easy. Bend. Breathe deeply. Four, get those hips nice and square. Again, bend. You can lean your body further forward if you'd like. Three, reach that leg hard if you want to. You don't have to. Easy, it just makes it more intense. Easy. You don't necessarily need the full intensity to gain all the benefits. One more time. Again, easy. Bend. Stretch long. Really great job. Up nice and tall. And I'm going to switch legs. Let me try it facing you. Again, arms can be out. Again, use things like ski poles, anything like that that has traction on the floor so it doesn't slip. Bend your standing leg. The hips are square as possible. Easy. And then return. Take your time. The knee goes forward, the hips go back, you bend, four. You only lean forward as far as your knee allows you to go. Easy, breathe deeply, three. Great job, take your time. Easy, bend, reach, two, mm -hmm. up tall, one more time. Easy, bend, reach, up tall. You can repeat or take your arms up, you don't have to. Bend, easy, reach long, take your time. Up nice and tall. This foot can always tap the floor if you lose your balance. Bend, reach long forward. Take your time. Again, that hip is gonna wanna twist as you go. Try and bring it square to the floor in front of you as much as you can. Three, uh -huh. without twisting your upper body, which is hard. Because what happens is you wanna rotate the hip, you end up twisting the body instead, or both. Two, the torso stays square to the floor, as does the hip, the hip often does less being square than the torso does. Easy. Nice and tall and rest. Interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Big breath in, heel stay down. Stretch over to the side, exhale. Oh. Bring it up tall. Stretch over to the side, exhale. Oh. Up tall. Bend your knees, twist, rotate. Straighten to return. Bend, twist, rotate. Straighten, return. Now. Chest up, arms back, push the heels down, extend, stay there. Big breath in. As you exhale, release the arms, press down, grow nice and tall. Excellent job. There you have it. A nice little series that addresses A, a lengthening of the fibers from your inner groin to your lower back, B, a strengthening of the opposing fibers on the hip and outer leg to help you. I hope, that really, I hope you really had a good time doing that. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.